it's a match that any fan of in-ring technical British wrestling will have been waiting with eager, eager anticipation for. Zach Gibson against Zack Sabre Jr. of British Wrestling Weekly. Zach Gibson is a man on the rise in British professional wrestling. Remember, he's the man that won the first ever Davy Boy Smith Memorial Cup. He is now also in the running to become the number one contender for the unified, undisputed NGW British Heavyweight title as part of this four-man knockout tournament. And if he can win this contest, he will go on to face the other man who won his bracket, Rampage Brown. But for Zach Gibson to win, he must take on and beat the man that WWE.com just called the very best wrestler on the planet not to be signed to a contract with that company, Zach Sabre Jr. In many ways, this may be the toughest wrestling challenge of Zach Gibson's entire career. If you're unfamiliar with Zack Sabre Jr., the reason WWE speaks so highly of him is because, in my opinion, as someone who's been in the British wrestling industry for over 20 years, Zack Sabre Jr. is the finest technical wrestler of his entire generation. And this crowd here at Hull City Hall is in for a scientific technical wrestling classic. As are you at home here, joining us each and every week on British Wrestling Weekly. Remember, the winner of this contest will take on Rampage Brown, and the winner of that contest will take on the winner of next week's main event between the undisputed heavyweight champion of NGW, the show stealer Nathan Cruz, and his childhood best friend, Matt Myers. And look at that, look at Gibson early on, going for that Shankly Gates. Oh, and look at that. An attempt there that Fujiwara armbar by Zack Sabre Jr. and these guys. God, these guys are so good, so proficient. And despite a difference in size, they are so, so evenly matched when it comes to the mechanics and the technical aspect of British professional wrestling. And surprisingly, this crowd here siding with Gibson and I say surprisingly, because let's not forget the last time that Gibson was in this building, he went to the limit with the show still and Nathan Cruz. But over recent weeks and recent months, we have seen a different side of the fans' reaction to Zach Gibson, because this guy must be given credit for his fortitude in that ring, his persistence, his perseverance, and his damn right toughness. And now we're gonna have the opportunity to see a very different side of him, and that is his wrestling, because that is the word on the marquee. A Sabre there, reverses that, and this crowd being treated to some fantastic World of Sports style wrestling. Remember, the UK wrestling scene was the envy of the entire world when it came to the mechanics of in-ring technical wrestling. And we are seeing in this contest that those skills and those talents have not been lost by its new generation. Ah, and Sabre there, reversing that. And it reminds me of the BWC Heritage Division contest, that classic we saw between Doug Williams and Jack Gallagher. But this one is not fault under rounds because it's part of that four-man knockout tournament. And Gibson knows that a win here over Zack Sabre Jr. would propel his reputation globally. He already has a tremendous national television name for himself as far as British wrestling goes in the United Kingdom. But this match will put him on the world stage and he knows it. And if we know anything about Gibson, he will not be upstage. This match continues, don't go anywhere. Alex Shane back with you here on British Wrestling Weekly and you join us in the middle of our main event and a contest which may just end up being the very best technical wrestling match we have ever had in the history of this program. Zack Sabre Jr against Liverpool's number one Zach Gibson and during the commercial break these two treated this audience to some incredible chain wrestling and it continues. Zack Sabre Jr is just so smooth a technician in that ring. Reminding me of the British greats like Johnny Saint, Johnny Kidd, 
Steve Gray, Jim Brakes. I would honestly hold this guy in that level of regard. Rolling reversal there. Snapmare, and again, look how fast Sabre Jr. is. Sabre Jr. has spent extensive time honing his skills and his craft in Japan. Started wrestling when he was just a very young teenager at the Hamilton School of Wrestling, trained by Andre Baker, who also trained me, Doug Williams, Finn Balor in the WWE, as you know him, Jody Fleisch, Johnny Storm, Doug Williams. So he's in great, great company. And look at this guy. Perfect bridge, perfect head nick. Swings around, takes the arm, follows through. And if there is a better pound for pound technical wrestler in the world today than Zack Sabre Jr., I am unsure who he is. And look, he's going for that arm. And you know, if he goes for that arm, it's because the submission by Fujiwara armbar is not far away. And Gibson manages to get out of the way there. And whoa, oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh, look at that. Single arm DDT onto the arm, which is a prelude to Gibson Shankly Gates. And it, this match is going to be like a submission based form of physical chess because both men will be looking for a submission and both men will be looking for a win with that submission. And you can see the damage done during the commercial break. Sabre Jr. really works on the arm of Gibson and now it looks like it's Gibson who will return the favour because he's got that arm in a bar and up overhead. Belly to belly suplex using the arm bar for additional leverage and ex extra pain. But it's still, you can still see the pain etched on the face there. As much as his cocky swagger and his ego will shake it off. Look at that, straight onto the arm. But look at the face there of Sabre Jr. He had the cocky grin, but underneath that, you know he's still in pain. Yeah, you can even see it now when he's inflicting pain. And that's just why Sabre Jr. is so proficient because he uses every, every ounce of energy and strength he has to slowly wear down an opponent's body part. Now, who does that sound like? It sounds exactly like Gibson, which is why NGW have matched these two guys together as part of this four-man knockout tournament. Remember, Rampage Brown has already qualified and he will face the winner of this contest. And then the winner of that match will face the winner of next week's NGW Unified Undisputed Heavyweight Title Showdown between the champion, the show stealer Nathan Cruz, and his childhood best friend, Matt Myers, in both of their t hometown of right here in the whole City Hall. It's a match I can't wait for, and it's coming up in just seven days' time. The Sabre Jr. there, straight back on the arm. God, this guy knows where he is in every, every instant. Textbook European uppercut, head to the stomach, and a combination of the two. And, oh, oh! My God, he could have just dislocated the shoulder of Zack Sabre Jr., who follows in, and the force of that kick sent him over the top rope. Sabre Jr. there, protecting that arm, and his face isn't showing the pain, but that looked like he could have popped an arm out of the... Oh, God. This is move from a game of physical chess into a game of pain. Oh, look at that submission. And he's... Oh, and he's got the arm. He's got that key lock on. And look at that. All of the body weight of Zack Sabre Jr. is being used as a weapon against the man that he must beat to go to the next round of this four-man knockout tournament. And Sabre Jr. Oh, oh, and Gibson. Gibson reverses, reverses. Oh, and into a suplex. God, he gets out. People talk about just how good Zack Sabre Jr. is, but you're seeing here on British Wrestling Weekly why Zack Gibson, in many people's eyes, is the best pound-for-pound -pound wrestler in the United Kingdom today. We knew this match was going to be good, but these two are not disappointing because the most important televised singles title in the UK today is on the line, and look at that. Oh, and he rolls through and he's got that Fujiwara armbar. And Gibson must keep those those fingers connected in that butcher's hook. Yeah, he, he used the leverage there and he got out of it, but for how long? Standing double leg Nelson by Gibson. Sabre rolls through there. Gibson reverses again. And these two backs and forwards, and Adam Johnson struggling to count as I am struggling to commentate by these two masters. And Gibson, big uppercut there, and he's setting up. Oh, he's going for that Mersey side drop. But the, it was reversed on oh, that kick to the face. That could have knocked Gibson out. Oh, just a two. Oh, we know what Gibson was going for there that Mersey side drop, the knees to the face. 
and it was blocked and reversed by Zack Sabre Jr. who followed up with a vicious, brutal, direct kick to the face. There's no other way of calling it. You'll see it here on our replay. He was reversed. And look at the force of this. Bang! Straight in the face. And how that has not knocked Gibson out is beyond me. But he didn't. And as a result, this one carries on. Sabre Jr. Running European uppercut. Goes for a second here and he hits it. Gibson here on Dream Street. Oh, catches the foot. And he pulls out. Gibson is holding on for dear life on. Oh, look at that. Precision kick to the arm. And watch. Oh, oh, oh. oh and he, he went for that Mersey drop from the second. And he didn't quite connect. He slipped. Could that be enough? No. Oh, that must be heartbreaking for Gibson because he didn't quite connect. But he's not done yet. Look at that. Fisherman Buster in the centre of the ring. And if I know Gibson... Oh, he's going for the pin. Could he... Could he... Oh. I was going to say, if I know Gibson, he'll go for that Shankly Gates. But I think his desire to pin the best wrestler, not signed to a WWE contract, in the words of the WWE, was too much of a lure. And now he goes, oh, and he's got that Shankly Gates, my God. He's got that in the centre of the ring. And Zack Sabre Jr., worse than being pinned in some instances, may actually tap out. Could you imagine that? And Sabre Jr. is getting out. He's fighting with everything he has, and Gibson holds on, rolls through, and... Oh, 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 he's got it back! He's got it back! But Sabre Jr., Sabre Jr., oh no, look at oh no, this could be it, this could be it! Whoa, 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 and Gibson, God, Sabre Jr. is so good, so fast, and this one carries on, and on, and on with that uppercut. Double thrust chuck to the throat. Sabre Jr. through the legs, so fast, so quick, spins around. How can these two guys keep up with each other? Oh, and Gibson, oh, Gibson wins! Gibson wins, my God! Gibson has just beaten Zack Sabre Jr. and advanced to the next round. we were likely to see an incredible display of British wrestling at its best from two of the very best practitioners of the United Kingdom's wrestling scene in our main event. But watch here in our replay just how quickly that conclusion happened. Say so went through the legs, leg over the top, but Gibson was able to reverse and get that pinfall from nowhere. And you've got to believe that Zack Sabre Jr has just earned a whole new level of respect for Liverpool's number one, Zach Gibson. And he will not be alone because the eyes of the wrestling world will be fixed on that man right there as he heads into the finals of this four-man knockout tournament against Rampage Brown and Gibson here. Gibson here is calling Zach Sabre Jr. back in the ring. And this is uncharacteristic for a man who we've seen rub victory in people's faces for so long he's extended a hand and this I am unsure as to whether or not this is a wise decision for Sabre Jr and he shakes it my god Zach Gibson has shown ultimate respect for one of the best wrestlers on the planet today on his path to winning the NGW undisputed title from his nemesis, his rival, the show stealer Nathan Cruz, who we will see in action next week, defending that title against his best friend, the amazing Matt Myers. Back over to you, Charlie Shakespeare.